protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com I'm Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com. Now I'm here to address a video that was put out by a group called the All Warriors Network. And they had this exclusive interview with a guy that is now being called the Fat Delta guy. And they said that, that that's what InfoWars is calling him. Look who I ran into, Big John, AKA Fat, Fat Delta, Delta guy <laughs> on InfoWars. Uh, what do you think about being famous, man? Uh, I think InfoWars is an even bigger piece of crap than they were to begin with. Um, Wait, you're not Delta? Is that no, what you're saying? No, absolutely not. I think, Joe, I think Joe Biggs needed 15 minutes of video to fill, and he could have, I mean, I could have taken a crap and made it go more viral than that video, so. So, so what, do you, what do you think about people calling you the, the Fat Delta guy? Is, is that a fair? I, I've been called worse by better, so I'm not, I mean, I'm good with it. Okay. Yeah. So, what are you doing here if you're not Delta? Uh, well, I'm a private security contractor. Okay. I've been hired by uh, a media organization. And uh, my team and I are here to uh, make sure that they can come in and cover Ferguson safely. Sure. So when we're in the parking lot at the Justice Center in Clayton, we notice a, a group of spec op looking fellas. I'll go ahead and put that question mark there for you because what we're saying is we obviously don't know who you're with, but based off the, 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 your attire and how you're dressed, it kind of seems like that. I mean, how dare I even come to that conclusion, seeing as how there's 2,200 National Guard being sent to the area. There's a thousand police on standby. Oh, and a hundred FBI agents were just sent there the day before. How dare I look at this group and go, hmm, question mark, wonder what these guys are doing. And then notice that when they shut the trunk to their Suburban, there's a North Carolina plates. How, how dare I go even a step further and go, what's in North Carolina? Okay, Fort Bragg. What's at Fort Bragg? Home of the Special Forces. What else is there? Delta Force, that's all it is. We're sitting there going, hmm, they've already sent a hundred FBI agents. There's 2,200 National Guard. There's 1,000 police. Right now, we have more boots on ground in Ferguson than we do overseas in combat. You guys came out and you said on your video that you're not spec ops. In fact, you're contractors, all right? Most contracting places like that, they usually hire ex-military. So at some point in time, you could have been in the military and the buddies that you were there working with. And you also said that we are crap, which I find to be really funny seeing as how you said your job there was to protect these mainstream media outlets, because we all know that Fox News doesn't lie, or CNN, or the MSNBC with all their race baiting that goes on nonstop. I mean, for, for crying out loud, MSNBC actually has Al Sharpton on their programs, and all that's, that's all he does. But you're there to take a bullet for these guys, and we're crap. All righty then. Well, what we're gonna do now is take a, uh, a look at a couple clips of different mainstream media outlets that were there in Ferguson covering going on inside there from whatever is inside whether it's ah. sorry I just got hit Ooh, that had to hurt taking a rock to the head well maybe you guys weren't guarding her you know at that time maybe it was Chris Hayes over on West Florissant right across from the building that was on fire as gunfire was coming at him uh, very fat Ew. that's gunfire all right uh, just to hail a gunfire just now. Driving down the street. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're being told to, we're turning told to, to fall back. I'm going to throw to you in the, in, in the studio. Or maybe you guys were watching this Fox News anchor as he was reporting the fact that there were some Molotovs sitting down and then this guy comes and runs up and throws the camera to the ground and they lose their feed. However. Looks like we got a stash here of some Amsterdam, New Amsterdam Citroen vodka and an orange mixer. If you could pan down and show that. Hey man, fuck you, fuck All right, we heard that. Excuse us, those watching at home. This is live television. What about all the people that have these masks on like that guy? How many people are covering themselves? Uh-oh. All right, as you can see, we lost Steve, Garrick, Steve Harrigan's shot. About eight shots, nine shots. Let's go back, 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 back back multiple shots fired back now all the way back it's nighttime we don't know who's firing at who we're just pulling back out of range I've, I've heard you it's it sounds go ahead small caliber all the way back Dutch back 
Well, I mean, there you have it. There's a lot of mainstream media outlets right there that are that are getting attacked by the uh, protesters or rioters, whatever you want to call it, um, having rocks thrown at them, exposing Molotovs, and there's nowhere for any, I don't see any guards anywhere around for them. So maybe you guys were just out there doing whatever. But either way, I'd like to point out the fact that, you know, this, our crap media network, InfoWars, um, if you don't remember, you might want to go back and look at the footage for yourself, but we didn't have armed or unarmed bodyguards like these guys did, and they still got hurt. Jakar Jackson and I were out there by ourselves. We didn't even stand beside each other half the time. We went out there and actually brought real coverage of what was going on as the bullets were flying by, as they were shooting at firefighters, making them or forcing them, I should say, to pull back and then allowing these buildings to burn down. But you know what? You know, you guys are right. We're, we're, we're just crap. You know, we go out there and actually report on real stuff and we expose lies. We don't go out there and protect Fox News and CNN and MSNBC or anything like that, like that because we know that, you know, these guys tell the truth all the time. Never have they ever used a green screen to say that they were actually overseas in a combat situation, whatever. But guess what? Before you call us crap, you might want to go do your homework and see what it is that we're really about. We go out there fearlessly. We, we had bullets flying by. We didn't run. We sat out there in the streets. There were people driving by up and down the road with guns waving out the window, shooting and all of that. Yet we never retreated. We didn't run back and we didn't need bodyguards to sit there and help us because you know what? You need bodyguards to help protect stuff because that's what's happening when there's lies being put out. That's why they need bodyguards because what they do is put out garbage. They are crap. Infowars actually puts out real news. So you might want to start fact checking things like that before you go out and do your exclusive interviews talking about us and calling us crap. Once again, I'm Joe Biggs with real news here at Infowars.com. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139.